Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just going to show you guys some goodies that I am mailing out in some happy mail, but I guess also a swap. So I am part of the group Loaded Envelope Galore and More on Facebook and we needed to create um, this beautiful hot air balloon memory decks card. So here's what that looks like. There is a video tutorial that I could have linked down below on how to make this. You would need like the regular hot air balloon file and then you change it up a whole lot. So the person that did the tutorial did a lot by hand, um, but I ended up just changing the whole file on um, in my silhouette program to make it like flat like this to be able to be a memory decks card. So I just did all the pieces in my program so I didn't have to do anything by hand. But this is what it turned out like. I used the Bloom paper collection for the background. I obviously layered it with some pearl trim because I've been addicted to it. I used these uh, flowers. These are, I think these are pink paisley flowers um, that I just had in my stash. Um, yeah, they're pink paisley Auburn Lane collection. And I had put, um, ah, what is it called? Um, not stickles, but... Uh, uh, Wink Estella around the edges of the flowers and I just used three of those there and I used another two down here that hot the hot air balloon file also comes with these layering pieces so I put those down first before I did the pearl trim and then same thing here and I also put another one here with some little jemmies on here here I put some lace and I did um, another layer of ribbon like in yellow and then a gold little heart and I think it turned out so stinking cute guys I love how this turned out and it's just a nice cute little memory dex card. So I'm sending this off and this is the only thing we were expected to create but obviously when you do swaps you always, you always include some other goodies so let me show you guys what else I made. So I really wanted to create this little acetate box. I mean I guess it's not that little but this is inspired by love letter generation because she's always making things with acetate and then uh, disco dolly did a tutorial on how to make this one specifically so i just um used that and i created um the little acetate box i did put some velcro dots on the side um or on on the edges here and down here and that's where it sticks together and inside of here I have this super cute Polaroid shaker that I made. This is what it looks like. Let me show you guys that. I guess everything is very summery feeling. Um, although I did use Bloom for this paper as well. Um, everything else is just kind of brighter. But oh well guys. Oh well. <laughs> so um, this is a cute little Polaroid shaker that I had made. I put in a little bit of sequins. I didn't put in enough but... I'm glad I added in some glitter back there because that at least stays up and gets attached to the acetate. Here I have like a puffy star, an arrow, a camera, and a little ice cream pop. Um, little jemmies on the corners and then here's my little like cluster, layered cluster. It looks like that and I think this is from the, I want to say Chasing Dreams or possibly Oasis collection. No, I think it's actually Oasis and I just like print and cut. A whole bunch of stuff and I just had it in my stash. I can't remember which collection because I've had them cut out for a while but I was just layering pieces together and um, I have the thread behind the flamingo and I think it turned out really cute. So that was one item that was in my Polaroid, not my Polaroid, my little acetate box. Um, another thing I created are some of these butterflies. This is a die by Momenta. Um, and I did five layers. So the bottom layer is this ivory color. I'm just trying to use up that paper because I hate the color. But then you have the um, like a layered uh, solid colored cardstock. Then you have a patterned piece. Then I have the vellum and then I have the gold here. And then this is gold glitter for the body of the butterfly. And I think it just turned out so cute. So there's that one. Then I also have this blue one. And I was using scraps from the Bloom collection, mostly, but not all of it. Like this isn't Bloom, this is just printed cardstock that I had in my stash. So 
there's that so three little butterflies and then I have one more goodie inside of here and I created a cute little um, charm not charm like a keychain again I just used some ephemera like print and cut ephemera I had in my stash I just go through that and I've been using it so everything's been turning out super cute and I used um, the bloom collection for the background of the heart as well so the bottom layer has the pink cardstock. I layered it again inside of here with the ivory just to make this part sturdier so that you know the keychain doesn't ruin the paper and rip the paper. Then I layered it with a heart um, with the bloom paper pattern. Then I have a smaller heart. This is just a nesting die that I cut out also with the bloom collection, just a little scrap. Layered it with some foam and I stitched around it. I have these little like black and white flowers hanging out. Um, some more flowers I had in my stash, this little flag, this is actually from the Hooray paper collection. It's just a whole bunch of different stuff in here. Um, the butterfly, then there's this little heart, I think that's, um, I want to say heart day, or maybe not, but it's one of those from like the Valentine's Day heart collections uh, from Crate Paper. Then there's this beautiful sentiment, a little butterfly die cut that I cut out and a whole bunch of thread behind that. And it turned out really cute. So I really like how that turned out. It's super chunky and layered. I don't know if my partner likes chunky and layered, but I hope she does because that is pretty chunky guys. So I hope she likes the whole layered thing. And then the last thing I created is this cute little match box with like some goodies inside of here. I'm actually reusing this box because Eileen just gifted it to me, um, but I took out the goodies and I'm reusing the box. So I also created like a new outside for it, um, kind of like summery vacay themed. I think I made mine a little too big, too big, but I was trying to look at Eileen's and see how she made it. <laughs> but yeah, I think mine is a little wider because this is a lot looser in here, but let me show you guys anyway. So I have this blue little flower um, that I got in some Happy Mail recently, and I attached to this little pearl center to it. Then I, oh, and I was using a paper from the Bloom Collection. I just used the butterflies. I don't like that paper, not the butterflies, the birds. I don't really like that paper too much, so decided I would use it up. I had this random star that I put in the background, um, some like a star embellishment this big leaf thing I think that's also from the Oasis collection this pineapple we have some eyelash trim and this says vacay and good times and then I just layered some other random stuff like this little citrus circle thing and just like a little um, label thing there and then attached a couple of jemmies I made this um, tassel looking thing with some pom-pom trim some gold leaf thing, um, some pearls that I saw Eileen did, and I thought that was a really good idea to um, add some pearl trim to it, and then I um, made this little bow here. And then inside of here, I just have a couple of goodies, so I am gifting her, um, let me show you guys. I need to get some more of these boxes, but I'm gifting her some paper flowers that look like that. Um, some little pom-poms. I have a whole bunch of jemmies and blue greens and purples and then these little like candy things that she could attach to projects and things so just, just some little goodies in there and that is all that is in the box and I might have done this backwards but oh well guys <laughs> that's how it's gonna go I guess it's a little backwards whatever um it is what it is <laughs> and that's all that I created so that is it guys that is what I am sending to my swap partner from that Facebook group for this um, hot air balloon memory decks and I hope she loves everything I'm sending her um and thank you guys so much for watching I shall see you guys in my next crafty video I'll talk to you soon bye